That's the deal with airplane peanuts. peanuts. Kill Tony started off this year with the biggest spectacle in podcasting history, with back-to-back -back arena shows that were packed full of electric moments and high-stakes drama. But coming down from such a massive high, there was a chance that once this show returned to its normally scheduled programming, that it might take a few weeks for the New Year's hype to wear off and the show to get back into a normal rhythm. But there's a reason Kill Tony is dubbed the number one live podcast in the world. Because they not only didn't skip a beat coming into 2024, but but last week, Kill Tony put on a comedy clinic during episode 650, reminding everyone just how good the simple format of this show can really be when the bucket pulls, panel members, and audience are all performing at elite levels. We got a lot of limes. You'll be amazed how many limes you can afford with a Spotify deal. <laughs> As always, the show started off with a brand new minute from Hans Kim, who ever since defeating Rick Diaz on New Year's Eve has been a polarizing figure amongst Kill Tony fans online. But despite the naysayers, Hans Kim showed up with a very strong new set and thrived during his first ever conversation with Bobby Lee. Whenever I travel and I tell people I'm from Texas, no one believes me because I look like this. <laughs> Everyone thinks Texas is just a bunch of dudes in cowboy hats making tacos for each other. Who do you think paints their wise nails? <laughs> A lot of immigrants are coming across the border, which is great, because my windshield's kind of dirty. I mean, dude, I've, you know I'm a f fan of yours. You're I have no idea. I, I'm, I didn't know you knew me. <laughs> <laughs> what the f I'm sorry. I thought you were from Texas. I had no idea, I had no idea, guy. <laughs> no, but dude, I mean, I never thought that it was a filthier than me, and um, <laughs> honestly, when I watch it, I go, oh my God, that's like, uh, like you're like my son or something. I am your son. Like a descendant or whatever, and I like what you're doing, and I'm so, I know your parents are probably disgraced. Yes. But I'm <laughs> fucking proud of you. Thank you, Bobby. Amazing, look at that. Look at that. After Hans Kim, we moved on to the very first bucket pull of the night, Jason Rodriguez, who performed a solid 60 seconds before mentioning during the interview that his special talent is doing 30 push-ups, which then prompted Bobby Lee to prove that he can also do 30 push-ups. He's dead, everybody. He's dead. Welcome to Kill Bobby. The cool thing about Kill Tony being at the mothership every single week is that you truly never know what could happen next. As we saw right after Bobby's push-ups, Burt Kreischer appeared on stage in electric fashion. Jason, would not have gonna get off that. Oh my God! Oh my God! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, Oh my God! Oh my God! The machine! Shout out to Ways to Well, Testosterone's doing good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't come anymore, but that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Burks has been a guest on Kill Tony many times before, but this may have been his best performance on the show, which is crazy because it appears as if Burt just happened to be at the mothership and crashed this show for fun, which not only received a huge pop from the audience, but also might be why Burt seemed extra loose and quick on stage. Typically, Burt's jokes are formatted in the style of long stories, but during this episode, he was hitting everyone with super fast tags and wordplay. Play. In fact, Burt was doing so well that he pulled a classic George Costanza move and left on a high note after being on stage for about 40 minutes. Nice. What do you do for work? Uh, I work at Sunset, actually. I work, uh, I, uh, I'm a barista. Oh, barista at Red uh, Band's Comedy yeah. Club. Look at that. Yeah. So you're only making coffee beverages? Making coffee, I work uh, three to six every day. Like, Seriously, the most we do. coveted hours of making uh, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> three to six. Yeah. <laughs> For all those strippers and comics. <laughs> if they like write a new joke during the coffee hour, they can just go up and try the material out to, to all these people. Oh, that wow. are all those people. I, thought, I thought Starbucks had it nailed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're telling me. <laughs> is there's a coffee shop out there where I can hear their thoughts? <laughs> so like when, when you when when he says cousin, that could mean a friend of more than like a year. But if it's a cousin cousin, that means that it is your uncle or aunt's that's my child. First, that's my first cousin's cousin. R what? Oh, Whoa, that's a second cousin. Yeah. Friend. Cousin. 
Right. Yeah. Yep. Bobby yeah, was yeah. right. They Bob. don't get to say dad, so they say cousin a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I, that's not cool, but. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. <laughs> thank you. Thank that's you. Is Natron's... I, I take that appreciate it coming from you. You're funny as fuck. Is, <laughs> is Natron's dad in his life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom oh, okay. Believe. He didn't bounce? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> What's a real cousin then? Like, if my you were real... to say, like, a real cousin. Yeah. My first cousin. That's my cousin. <laughs> Uh, that might well, uh, Red Man, you you're Joe Rogan's producer, producer. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know, I was taking a shit. And I ran into your wife. She watched. But she, she said, get Bert off of the stage. Because you guys are on a date. Yes. And she's really mad. All right, I'm leaving. All right, so she's not Bert- mad, but, she, but we are on a date. We are on a date. What I got fun. No, fuck you. Know. Love you, Bert. Thank you so much for swinging by. Bert, Bobby, and Esther all showed up with high energy and did their parts to make this a great show. But like we saw on night one of the arena shows, when it comes to creating a magical episode of Kill Tony, the bucket pulls can make or break the show regardless of who's on the panel. And episode 650 featured some killer pulls. From the strong opening sets of Jason Rodriguez and Grand Adcock, to the return of a legend Karen Jones, and even a complete first-timer Carlos Lopez, who had never performed stand-up comedy in his life and left the stage with an open invitation to come back to the show anytime. I love it. Carlos, I am mesmerized by your unbelievable, natural, God-given fucking talent here tonight. I think uh, you're putting on a clinic for being yourself and owning the moment. I'm just going to put it to you this way. If you, uh, next time you're ready for another minute, I'm just going to have you back when you want. Uh, So you just let me know. When you're done hauling horses and ready to sling some more jokes. Another classic Kill Tony situation to cross off your bingo card from episode 650 was a guy saying that his girlfriend also signed up for the show and Tony bringing her on stage. We've all seen this situation played out millions of times and it almost always ends up horribly for the boyfriend, which in a way happened again in this case, although it is tough because the guy didn't have a bad set at all, but his girlfriend absolutely killed it. My friend's dog ate all of my antidepressants recently so I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for asking. Um, she was really mad at me. She was like, how could you leave these out? You could have killed them. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> That's, uh, that is what they were for. Um, the, the dogs are thriving. <laughs> they, they've actually never been better. Um, they're texting their friends back. They're, they're making their beds in the morning. They do have trouble reaching orgasm, but um, that's, that's okay. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. It's still super easy to make them come. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's, wow. That's relationship. As if this episode wasn't entertaining enough, the bucket pulls ended with a street performer juggling limes and talking about cracking whips to close the show right before the big red machine stepped up to the plate. This was just a really funny episode from start to finish, and as a fan of Kill Tony, it feels good to see another million view episode seemingly out of nowhere. Everyone knows the drill by now, but if you want to claim your free Joke World stickers, go check out the link in our Instagram bio, and we'll send you these in the mail completely for free. We just got a thousand more of these, so we need to send them out. Also, if you're not a fucking bastard subscribe to clip world right now this is our second channel trying to get up to 20,000 views and it should be at least 3,000 people are going to see this video we're at 17 get it to 20 thank you for watching bad joke world world. and the world is wrld that's a great uh, youtube channel joke world check it out